Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Dragonfly Gamer UK, and I'm back with a brief update on my road to monetization. Um, I released a video, when was it? It's on here somewhere, on 28th, which was nearly a week ago, six days ago, about how I was trying to get my channel monetized uh, in the process of doing so. As of the 1st of August 2024, I actually hit the first threshold, which is 3,000 hours, which allows me to join the YouTube Partner Programme. That allows me to set up a membership for my account, which I have subsequently done. There you go, we've got a join button now. Click on that, you can join my YouTube channel. I have uploaded a video initially, I'm just doing some trials, obviously because it's the first time I've done this. I have uploaded the next Europa video, in part two. That has gone as a members only video currently. It will, in a day or two, be released for general viewing, but this is just for me at the moment. Trying things out, I will be uploading more videos as members only initially, with a delay between them then being going live to the public. So if you become a member, you get to see these videos as soon as I release them, rather than having to wait two, three, four, five days, however long I decide I'm going, to, I'm going to do it for. But at the moment, yeah, there we go. I'm actually there. I've got my first target hit. So the next target is the AdSense which means I need 4,000 hours, and I'm currently at uh, 3,104. So in the last few days, I've actually grown quite quickly. To, to be honest, I've grown much quicker than I was expecting. Uh, as you can see from this, I've just put some additional light. This is a graph I was showing last time. This is where I was as the 1st of the 8th when I hit the monetization so after two days ago. Uh, I have put... Um, I've still got the trend line in there, which is this line. I did a best fit from about the middle of April to now to give me this line just as a guide um, if I go on the trend line it's suggesting I will hit my 4,000 hours on the 1st of October now um, however the trend line is making that around about middle of September and to be honest if you look at the hours growing if you project that up that's just kind of me messing around there uh, we're looking maybe the third week of August maybe before September I don't know, we'll just wait and see, but it's certainly seen a spike in hours. And that was not due to the monetization video. I thought I might get more views than it did, but it hasn't. Fair enough, no matter. This is due just to a general increase in the viewing hours from people. Certain videos seem to have gone down better than others. Um, as you can see here, I've been getting 60, 70, nearly 80 hours uh, viewing a day. That's a bit of a drop off, uh, and it's coming back up again now. And that ties in with the release of these videos here, basically. So. That one, that one, that one, and um, this one hopefully when it comes uh, to public viewing. That'll get quite a few views. So yeah, thanks guys, thanks for your support. Like I said, I just wanted to give a quick update on that. It is worth the effort to keep going. Obviously I haven't made anything yet. If I go to my analytics, you can see estimated revenue, zero. <laughs> I've got no subscribers yet, so it's zero. And if you click on any of these videos, you'll see Estimate revenue zero in all of these. This was a bit strange. I got me on this one. I don't know. Well, I do know why. I think I had quite a big take, and I just flatlined, and that ties in with that. But uh, the watch I was on too great on that one. So people like the thumbnail, I guess. Like the text, but not so happy with the video. Don't know. Whereas this one, it's been a bit more consistent. Um, it has dro dropping off, but uh, um, hopefully stop picking up again here. It looks like it's going to pick up. Impression click through rate 5.5. Meh. I've seen better. Uh, watch out. Average watch time. Average view duration. So that one's up around 13 and a half, 14 minutes watch time. So hopefully things will improve. But that's it guys. Just a quick update. People asked me to give them an update. I was given an update in a week or two or when I hit the magic 4,000 hours. The actual signing up process was fairly easy. It flagged up straight away when I signed in. You know, do you want to join the partner program? You click yes. You've got to set an AdSense account, uh, link that to your YouTube account, and then it goes away uh, to be um, reviewed by YouTube. It says up to a month. It took two days for myself. I know some people have said, oh, it's taking too long. It's taking a month. It's taking two months. Other people are saying they've been done the same day. So I think it's just a bit hit and miss. If it does take too long, I think people said, just send them a message, and it gets resolved really quickly. So anyway, that's just some information for you guys are trying to do this. So yeah, guys, uh, if you'd like to join my channel, see who's going to be the first person to, to sign up, I'd appreciate it. Also, just something else while I'm here, something I've been finding extremely useful in this process 
as a small YouTube channel. Uh, I've been using vidIQ. I don't know if any of you have heard of it or not, but it has a whole host of tools uh, which help you do things. So I mean, even down to keywords, if you want to look for something, you know, if you want to try and think of a game you want to play and is it really oversubscribed to Minecraft, say? It tells you, yeah, that, uh, that you know, it's quite a good high score for hits for the word. Um, 22 million hits. Um, but there's quite a lot of competition out there. You know, that number's high. You want, what you really want is high here, low here. Uh, Valheim again, 2 million, but it's only 65. The crust, so that's half a million, nearly half a million search requests. And the volume's really low. So it's things like that you want to look for. It helps with things like that. It helps with uh, optimization of your channel. So it, it scores your title and your thumbnails on, on what they believe works. It's not 100%. I'll tell you that now. It's not 100%. It does go for really, you know, wow, this is the best thing ever for your titles. And I guess it's a bit of clickbaity, but it needs to be. You're one of thousands of gamers out there. You need people to click on your channel to watch it. Obviously, there's a flip side of that. If they click on it and just leave, as I've done with this one here, this is the one that got, that's flatlined. They've obviously liked the thumbnail, the title, they've clicked on it and haven't been to key in the video. So then you get a really low watch rate from that. But this one, this one's better. They've liked this one. They've clicked on it. They've watched more of it. So, But the title is quite low. You know, it's 58 on there, but plenty of people have clicked on it. Clicked on it. So it, it's all a bit trial and error, should I say. But there are lots of things on here to help you build your channel, should we say. A lot of good information, useful information. I'll find it very useful. It also has a plugin in YouTube, so that's a bit up here, which tells me various bits and things. So uh, hours watched in the year, views per hour, views in the last 48 hours, current subscription numbers, and obviously the roller coaster if it gives a little bit more information about that. And when you're looking at your channel, it tells you, you know, how many views per hour you're getting on certain videos and things like this. Someone's getting five views per hour, but we know it's not doing great. But yeah. So just put little bits and pieces like and you can click on it and it'll give you more information. Uh, more information. When you go in, there's some additional bits of information here, which you can use to help sort of um, look at things. So yeah, I find that really useful. I find vid, vidIQ really useful. We also do a lot of online or uh, YouTube videos themselves, trying to keep you up to date on what's going on with YouTube, which I find useful. If you're interested, there is a link in the description. And if I can, I'll put a link up here. For now, guys, that's Strong Fire Gamer wishing you good night.